Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video and thanks for joining me for another one. Now this video is going to be a little bit interesting and I'll tell you guys if you ask me enough, I will create these videos. And what am I referring to? So I did a video a while back ago guys showing you how to replace a battery, specifically a battery for the Dell 9520 which is a Dell XPS model. And it's actually right behind me here guys but anyways, I did a video a while back showing you guys how to follow step by step on how to go ahead and replace the battery, especially since I was having issues with that. And also as well, I was showing you some of the items that Dell actually leaves out of the manual and sort of leaves it up to you guys to guess in order to see what you do from there. Now, a lot of you have been telling me in the comments, hey, you know, what did you do for the battery cable? And how did you handle that? Because again, I didn't show you in the last video. I sort of assumed that you guys can pick it up easily once you have the computer open. But that was a poor assumption on my part. And guess what I have over here, guys? And if I bring this over, I ended up ordering a new battery for the Dell XPS 9520. And specifically, to be quite honest with you, I ordered it just to make this video. It cost me, I think it was a little over $120 or something along those lines. I'll go ahead and put a screenshot up here so that way you can see exactly what it cost me. But I think it was 120, somewhere around there. I can't really remember to be quite honest. But anyways, guys, the point is, is to show you how you go ahead and handle the cable, right? How do you switch the cable from one battery to the other? And the reason why I say that is because if you actually are going through the process of replacing the battery, Dell doesn't tell you that you actually need to keep some of the components. So meaning that if you go ahead and take out the battery and you recycle the battery without taking out that special cable, uh, you're out of luck at that point, right? Because they don't tell you that in the manual and you're supposed to actually use it on the new one. So anyways, this video, if you haven't guessed it by now, is going to be all about replacing the battery and specifically focusing on just that cable alone. If you guys are interested in seeing some of the other steps, because this video will not go in depth as to following all the steps that are in the manual, I already created a video on that, so no need to recreate the wheel. So you guys can watch that video, and I'll link it in the description and possibly up on the screen as well. But you can watch that one. It'll break it down in details as to what you need to do to open the computer, so on and so forth. But again, this video is just going to be specifically on this Dell XPS 9520 battery and we're going to focus on that cable and how you go ahead and move that cable from the old battery to the new battery. And the other thing that I'll do for you guys is I'll put a screenshot up here of all the computers. There's quite a number of them that take this kind of battery, specifically this one right here that I have for my 9520. So if you're interested in following for your computer, this video could possibly work for you. Again, double check the manuals, but it could possibly work for you because it takes the same exact battery. So therefore, the same exact cable should be in there. Now, as far as some of the other things, that may change and you might want to refer to your manual. But I guarantee you, if Dell didn't put it in my manual, probably they didn't put it in yours. So this video should help you out. All right, guys. So as always, if my videos help you out and you enjoy them, go ahead and give me a like for the video as it helps the channel grow. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that way you're notified when I upload new videos to the channel. And lastly, of course, share this with a family member or friend. So let's head over to my desktop over here. And when I say desktop, I'm referring to uh, my table, my computer table over here. And by the way, it's a standing table actually, which is pretty cool. But we'll head over here. We'll go ahead and take apart the computer. We'll go and take apart the battery. And I'll show you guys in details what we do with that cable. And then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and put the new battery in. We'll go ahead and close up the computer. And you guys should be experts at that point. So let's head on over. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on replacing that battery cable. So let's bring it in the computer. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove any removable items from the computer itself, such as that UB key that I have. Next item on the list is removing the eight T5 Torx screws that are on the computer. And I am using this precision screwdriver kit. Links will be in the description. Now that we have the screws removed from the computer, now it's time to actually take the picks that you'll see in the precision screwdriver kit. And we'll use any one of those picks in order to pry the base cover from the actual computer itself. 
At this point, I'm able to pry off the base cover. And as you see here, we're able to lift off the base cover from the computer, exposing the internals. And now that the internals are exposed, this is a very good opportunity to take the brush that is included inside of the screwdriver kit and just go ahead and clean some of the dust that I see here. But also keep in mind, guys, that the computer still has power applied to it because I have not unplugged the power connector that is going into the motherboard. So I'm being very cautious not to touch any of the electronics as the computer still has power because of that cable that is still plugged in. And in a couple of seconds, we'll go ahead and remove that. At this point, we can go ahead and work on removing that power cable or that power connector that you're seeing that goes from the battery itself to the motherboard. And that is what provides power to the whole entire computer. So let's go ahead and remove that. And also after we're done doing that step, we can go ahead and drain the flea power and that makes sure that you don't have any power in the system whatsoever. And if you're interested in knowing what that actually means, again, in my previous video, I walk you step by step on exactly what all of this means. So if you have any questions, go check that one out. Next item on the list is working on removing the battery from the computer itself. And in order to do that, there are a total of eight screws that hold down the battery. Four screws are M2 by four and four screws are M2 by three. And after we're done removing all eight screws, there are four pieces of tape on the battery itself that holds a wire to the battery. So I wanna make sure I peel that off so that way when I remove the battery, I don't have any issues with that. So next item on the list guys is actually unboxing and removing this battery. And again, specifically, it's a six cell lithium ion capacity is 86 watt hours and removing it from this box that it came in. And the reason why I'm actually taking the time to show you the unboxing and see what's inside of it is because as you guys are seeing on screen right now, the only thing that comes inside of this box is the battery itself. And as I take apart the foam that's inside of it as well, it's just to show you guys and prove to you that it doesn't come with anything else besides the battery. And so if you actually see and watch that I take it out of the anti-static bag that it also comes in, you'll start to notice that it's literally just the battery, as I mentioned before. There's no cable, there's no anything after that. And so this goes to prove that if you didn't save that cable, and by the way, you can actually see it in the frame on the old battery that there's a cable attached to it. If you didn't save that cable, you are dead in the water because you actually need that specific cable in order to take it from the old battery to the new battery. And I even pointed out in the screen as well that you can see that there is a cable that is missing. So it is very, very important that you actually kept that cable or the old battery, which has a cable. And we'll go ahead and show you how to take it from the old battery and put it on the new battery. With both batteries in front of us now, we can focus on the main part of this video, which is replacing that cable. And as you can see here, the new battery does not have that cable and the old one does. So let's focus on switching that. So here we are guys, which is the most important part of the video, which is actually removing this cable. And I zoomed in a little bit more for you so you can see what I'm actually doing. And right there, as you just saw, I was able to pull what looks like a strap on that battery cable. So I'm gonna use this pick here or this little tool that I have in order to show you guys. But as you can see, there's actually a little strap on there that connects that battery cable to the actual pins themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and I'm gonna pull on it. And with a little bit of elbow grease, you're gonna see that it actually comes off. And that's all there is to it. After that, I am literally just taking this tool that I have here, this pick, as I would call it, and I am just prying it. So it's held down by a bunch of glue, to be quite honest with you. So literally, you can just pull it from the actual battery itself, and the glue will actually let go. And you can see that I'm able to take the cable, that battery cable, off the old battery. And now, as I'm pointing here, you can see where the glue is. So there is two places where that glue is at. And again, there's a look at that strap that I was talking to you about earlier that you can pull on. So I'm actually just gonna push it back a little bit 
And as I mentioned before, there is two pieces of glue on the actual cable itself. And that's actually what you're gonna use in order to adhere to the new battery. So essentially, as you saw me repeat that process of pulling, now we just do it backwards. And we're gonna go ahead and line up this cable here with the pins. And I'm just gonna use elbow grease in order to push it onto the new battery. And once it's done doing that, then we can go ahead and just line it up with the battery itself. Again, there's tracks and there's little things that show you how to align that cable with the battery. And when I say little things, I mean these lines that you're seeing here. And you can just push down on the cable in order to secure it with the adhesive that is on there. And that's all that there is to it, guys. Now that we have the battery cable installed in the new battery, we can go ahead and take the new battery and install it back into the computer. And we just repeat the whole entire process, but in reverse, like you've seen before. So the battery goes in, then you go and go ahead and secure it with these eight screws that we removed from before. You add the pieces of tape. And remember there was four of them for that particular wire. We go ahead and we attach the cable to the motherboard itself in order to be able to power the computer. And then of course you finish up the process by installing the base cover. And once you're done installing the base cover, you go ahead and test out the computer and you're pretty much done from there. So there you have it guys, welcome back. As you're starting to see, it really wasn't all that difficult. It was honestly just elbow grease. And I've said this in actually some of the other comments as well, but I really understand and I get it where sometimes you don't know and you just wanna double check. But as you saw in the videos, there was nothing but, it was honestly glue holding down the actual cable itself. And then where the pins were on the actual cable, you saw that little strap actually, it looked like a strap. And that strap, you can go ahead and just apply a little bit of elbow grease, pull on it, and it pulls apart from the actual pins themselves. And then you have the cable in hand now, as far as the battery cable. And then as you saw, you just transfer it to the new one. You go ahead and line it up accordingly to where you saw the actual track lines, right? There were specific lines there. You line it up, you line up the pins, you give enough elbow grease, you push it down and you connect the battery uh, once you install it and put all the screws. I mean, it really wasn't too, too difficult. And it's quite a shame that actually Dell missed out on documenting all this stuff. So I guess that's a good thing for me, right? That's why I make these videos in order to help you guys out. So as always guys, if you enjoy my videos, they help you out and they give you a little bit extra guidance where some of these companies don't, go ahead and give me a like for the video as it helps the channel grow. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that way you're notified when I upload new videos to the channel. And lastly, of course, share this with a family member or a friend. And by the way, guys, one last thing before I head out, if you don't wanna wait for my next video, YouTube thinks that this video popping up on screen is just for you. So go ahead and give it a watch. And until the next time, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.